disappointing news over the uh, 24 hours span between two of your freshmen? You know, um, it's, it's, it's life. It's tough. Um, there's hard parts of life, and I think, you know, one of the great things that when you experience hard times, certainly unforeseen hard times, um, having uh, that sense of family, sense of togetherness, uh, you know, uh, love amongst teammates, relationships amongst, uh, you know, your leaders and in your coaches. Um, you know, I think it, if there's an easier way to handle uh, certainly tragedy and, and things that we hope no one has to go through, certainly at a young age. Um, this is an environment, though, where you feel like you can pull together, you can survive, and, you know, and, and ultimately even thrive in, in the face of some really unpleasant things. There are a lot of things you can prepare for as a head coach. Um, like how frustrating is it with something like this that you really can't control? Um, speaking of Carly, mm -hmm. um, right, uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, unfortunately part of the game. You know, one of the things I, I, uh, I just detest is when I hear coaches whining about their players getting hurt. You hate it for the players. You hate it. I hate it for Carly. She's worked too hard and does not um, enjoy, you know, does not deserve. Um, not having the opportunity to compete this year, she's worked so hard. At the same time, it's unfortunately part of what we do. And, um, you know, and on some levels, it's unavoidable. Um, you train hard, you prevent. Our strength coaches do a fantastic job of getting our kids ready, um, you know, for the physical rigors of the season. Uh, but, you know, we still haven't found that magic thing to uh, determine why exactly uh, women are more susceptible to ACL tears than men and why they're just, you know, so prevalent in our game. And, uh, you know, there's obviously a lot of staff on the team, but like, what does Carly bring that you guys won't be able to replace so easily? Well, you know, you want to think that, you know, everyone, not that they're replaceable, uh, but that, you know, again, the strength of the unit is good enough to compensate for wherever there may be a deficit, whether it's, you know, somebody's having a tough night or someone goes down with an injury. And uh, we certainly feel the same way with, you know, the void that we'll have with Carly. Someone's got to, you know, fill in. Someone's got to be her voice. Someone's got to bring that defensive intensity that she brings. Uh, you know, the one thing that won't be missing uh, is she has been a fantastic coach on the bench. You know, when she's been off the floor, um, you know, whether it's our scrimmages or whatever the case may be, her voice is one I always here. And so that will obviously be a consistent and steady thing for us and I think a great source of energy for our teammates. And I think the way she's handling this little bit of adversity as a great inspiration and great example to them all as well. And then for Lily, I mean, as a coach, Obviously, your heart breaks forward, but how have you, what have you been able to try to do for her? I know there's a time difference in the whole thing. How, how, I mean, Vila, I'm for, sorry. For Andrea, um, you know, it's been difficult to communicate. Um, her family is uh, wonderful. Uh, you know, got to get to know them a little bit during the recruiting process, although hers was uh, a little bit less traditional than some of our other young ladies. Uh, we've communicated mostly via email and, and Facebook. Uh, we've been sending her you know, team love every day after practice and just trying to be, uh, you know, a steady reminder to her of, you know, the positive things and something happy to look forward to today, you know, that team picture at the end of every practice, um, you know, but there's there's no way to ease the pain. Uh, there's, there's not at all, like I said, you just try to make sure that she feels the love that we all have for her and, uh, you know, demonstrating to her in every way that we can, that we're here for, that we miss her and we love her. Do you anticipate a timetable of her return, or do you have any idea? I haven't spoken with her family about that yet, and certainly, uh, you know, that's one of those situations. I'm a family first person; that's entirely up to them, uh, and we will we'll talk about it and, and figure out what's best, uh, what they need to do as a family, uh, you know, during this this really tough time, and and then go from there.